Hi, welcome to Waypoint Connect. Welcome to our new format where we don't have weekly episodes, but we connect with budding artists in our city. And it's our opportunity to just give them a platform to share who they are, what their music is all about, and what they want to try and create. So, guys, welcome. It's great that, that you're here. And maybe just share a bit about yourselves and, and where, you, where you guys are from. Um, I'm Leona Saffontaine. Um, I'm from PE. I'm in grade 10 and I'm from... <laughs> from that other school? <laughs> I'm in French high school, yeah. <laughs> Great, welcome, Leona. <laughs> My name is Ivan Beste and I'm in grade 11 and I'm also in French B high school and also from PE. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have got one song at the moment. Apparently you guys have released it on Spotify. Not yet, unfortunately. Right. We're waiting a bit for more songs to uh, to add to the playlist. And okay, and then you've got to roll. Yes, we're going to see if we're maybe going to release an EP mm -hmm. or something that's uh, very cool. We're very excited. But we're working on new music at the moment yeah. also. So. And the song that you currently have is called Rontom Tali. Yes. Right? So in English that would be? Rontom Tali. Rontom Tali. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very interesting question. It would be, I don't know, what is Rontom Tali in English? Merry go round. Yeah. Merry go round. Yes. Merry go it's round. like dancing. Yeah, yeah, it's like dancing. And and going round. So, what's the song all about? So, um, at first the song was like I don't know. I was just like I was writing a song about getting that special feelings with a special person. I'm like, okay. okay. So the whole song is about doing something and not caring about it and um, just letting go and maybe. Also, well, at the start it wasn't let go and let God, it was just let go, and it was about kissing, and that's how it was. Um, and I played the song to uh, my youth pastor's uh, um, wife, but then they weren't married at the moment, so they were uh, engaged. Um, and I played it to her and she's like, oh my word, the song is so cool, and she, I didn't think she... I knew that it was about kissing, which is like, hey, it's so amazing, you should play it at my wedding. I'm like, that's amazing, sure, I'll do it. Um, and we said that we we're going to play it together and then um, after knowing that I was like hey maybe I should just change a few things in the song and then it wasn't about kissing anymore but it's about getting married mm. um, and just putting your feelings in God's hands and uh, not caring too much about your own feelings um, and yes that's how it went and then um, the song just got like that it was very cool yeah. And Yana, how did you come on board on this project? Um, he asked me to sing the song with him <laughs> um, at the wedding because um, the bride, she had too much... Um, Responsibilities. Yeah, Ooh. so um, she, she said, um, I'm not singing with him. Okay. So. She said that, we'll, that Liana would be at the wedding also. I'm like, hey! Yes, let's ask Kiana and she said yes. Like, mm. yeah. after a bit of begging, she said yes. But <laughs> <laughs> what did she say yes to? What, what did she say yes to? She said yes to. It's a bit more than that. <laughs> yeah, so tell us a bit about that. But uh, eventually, so yes, we, um, we had a practice session about the song. Mm. Um, and we're like, okay, maybe we should just record this and that we can practice at, mm. so you can practice at home, the harmonies mm. and everything. Um, and when we recorded it and we played it to someone else, and um, we played it, played it to the bride, and she was like, Whoa, your voices sound amazing together. And my parents was like, Is that you singing? <laughs> what? They were they like totally confused and they were amazed. Um, and they said that our voices sound very good together. So like, hey, maybe we should sing together. And we also like that. We started getting closer and also um, starting a friendship between the two of us. Yeah, and, and, and that's amazing and I think a lot of young people miss that because it's easy to base a relationship on physical attraction. Yes. I like that guy, I like that girl. But there needs to be common interest yes. because you want that relationship to develop into friendship yes. and there be a strong basis for you guys to connect around. So yeah. having a passion for music, interest in music is one of those things that are important and, and are able to, to bring people together. And it's so great that you guys are able to use your talents and and build your relationship on that. But then, knowing you guys, we don't build our relationship on things like that. Yes. Right? We, we build it around our mutual passion for God. Mm. That's what we really build it on. Exactly. But in growing that further, 
to share common interests. So it's awesome that you guys are, are able to collaborate around your interest and passion that God has given you and grow that a bit further. Very awesome. You're very blessed. <laughs> and if, if you've got a, a message for young people out there, I know this is like kind of a curveball. I didn't get uh -huh. for this. So I'm going to have him go first. You can think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting him on the spot. Oh, <laughs> So, if you had a message for young people out there, what would that be? Uh, I think... I think maybe it would be not to... to overthink everything. And you always think like, okay, I need to do this and I need to do that. Um, and being also young, the the older generation or our parents, everyone, they put this pressure on us to do certain things and we always think that we need to, need to make these important decisions because especially in this time of our lives we, um, we need to think about what we're going to do one day and our careers and I think the most important thing for me, for young people would be just to not let that affect you too much all the pressure um, and that you should pray about it and it I think important decisions in your life need to be a decision between you and God um, and you need to follow God's way mm. I think I mean if you go like what would Jesus do and mm. uh, that's the main thing that mm. would be yes just to follow God yeah above everything exactly. more than what my parents expect what 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 does God want from me? yes yeah exactly Liana for you um, I think um, this whole um, duet thing that we started and um, when you started singing together, it really, um, I don't know, I was very like shy and stuff, well I'm still shy, <laughs> but um, I, I'm not, I got more comfortable with singing in front of people, so it really helped me and um, yeah, I don't know, just don't be scared. Yeah, don't, be, don't yeah. be scared to step out of to your try, comfort yeah. zone because you can. that's how you grow, mm. yeah. isn't it? And, and often we're too scared to step out of that comfort zone so we stay stuck in that space. We're comfortable but we don't grow. Yes. Yeah. And, and well done on, on taking that step and saying, yeah man, let's yeah. do this. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. And it's kind of a, a metaphor as well for, for life is we're robbing ourselves of what we can achieve, what we can do, and what God can do through us, mm -hmm. if we just wanted to stay in that safe space and like, no, I'm not, I'm not ready to do this. Yes. Yeah, so great. And thank you for sharing that story with us. Thank you for, for being with us, setting the time aside it's a big to, to share it. It's great. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Very honored. So that's our new format. And I hope you enjoy this song as much as we did listening to it. And we're looking forward to, to more products coming yes. from your collaboration and creativity. Very excited to share it, hey? Mm. Great. Remember, have a great week.